Hey, Sun friends. Welcome to the Joy Stamp with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and today is our fun fold Friday. Today we'll be making a really fun fold that was inspired to me from my friend Phyllis Walker. But this time I'm using the stamp set called Crafting With You. Go and hold our flip and we'll get started. Sorry, they changed where the icons were for the, the image there. Let me just scoot this a little bit. Sorry. And then we'll pull this aside. Okay, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to the Joy Stamp and Rachel. Um, please like, follow, share, do whatever you want, comment away, and then shop with me at my online store right here using the hostess code for August. And um, when you use that code, when you shop from my online store, I'll send you some extra happy mail afterwards as well. So it's totally worth it to use that code. The only time I don't want to use that code is if you're ordering more than $150 worth because you instantly get rewards when you reach that point in your order. And you'll want to use them instead of giving them to me. So don't use a hostess code um, when you reach that point. All right, let me tell you a little bit about this card and the stamp set that we're using today. Um, be sure to comment. One lucky person who comments will get the card that we'll be making in our video today. And this card was actually inspired by this card by my friend Phyllis Walker. I mentioned her name before. She does lots of stamping events with me and is a demonstrator as well. She went to an event by my upline, Melanie Williams, and this is the card she learned from her. So just one of those things that keeps on passing along. So now I'm going to pass along to all of my stamping friends in hopes that you guys will make some of these cards as well. Um, mine uses the Crafting With You. Um, stamp set and dies and it pulls out like this as you inspire me and then in the center it has this really cute stamping cut and emboss machine this one i thought would be perfect because next week i'm going to vegas with some stamping up leaders and i thought this would be a great card to make for swaps so that way they can um, then also give them to their team members as well because they do inspire us all right, let me tell you about the stamp set a little bit. It is just amazing, amazing. It comes with dies. I'll open it up and show you. But this is covers a lot of crafting things. We have the cute little needles and yarn that can go in the basket, sewing, painting, an easel, uh, the stamp and cut emboss machine. And then you open it up and there's even more because there's dies that they don't have stamped images for. So we have scissors and a ruler. Um, this, I was like, what is this one? And just looking at it, I could not think of it until I looked at the catalog and saw the, the samples I used with it. And it is a paper trimmer. I will show you that one in just a second. It's super cute. And then, of course, we have scissors. This is for, like, a needlepoint type thing. Just so many crafting ideas are in this bundle. So I highly recommend this to anyone who loves even just one of these crafts. Um, I'm a little bit of a sewer, not much of a painter, but definitely that die cutting machine and the paper trimmer was what sold me on this suite, or, or this set, sorry. All right, let me show you the pieces that we'll be using to make this card and kind of my design process. My friend gave me the information of how to make it, but still, I just didn't know how to, to do it without trying. So I grabbed my printer paper and I made a mock what this would look like. So I have these two and then I played with it this way to make sure I was doing it correctly. Let me go ahead and get those pieces in and we'll get ready to cut them together. So first we have two four and a quarter by 11 pieces of cardstock. So this basically was like this before and then we cut it once at the four and a quarter, but before I cut it, I did score it at the five and a half. That's the halfway mark. We're gonna take these and put them in our paper trimmer. Go ahead and grab your bone folder. Let me find mine. We're gonna make a left side and a right side. So I kinda wanna know which one's gonna be which. So you see that? Just fold it in half there. 
what I like to do is have that visual there so I know. So this side is going to be my left side. So I'm going to take this into my paper trimmer and open it up and go from my top left where that score line is and put it along my track. And then where my corner of that paper, let me see if you can see that one. Let me get it a little bit closer. There we go. Will we also be in that track, making sure it's not going past that score though. It's kind of a, a wiggle and move. Grab the paper trimmer part right here. I'm gonna start it kind of in the middle. Make sure it's still good. Just so that way it doesn't catch on my ends. So I'm gonna go up to that score. I'll come back down. And you should have a piece of triangle removed. Set that aside, save it for something else. And now we're gonna do the other side. So visually, I know that this one now needs to go on the top right of the score. So let's we'll set that in our paper trimmer. Lining up that top to the bottom to the score line. Again, I want to start it not on the edge so it doesn't catch on the, the track there. That looks pretty good. Oh, hold on. Popped out a little bit. Let me just push it down. There we go. So I'll go up and back down, and then we'll have another triangle piece. Set that aside and remove it. So when we put these together, they should look something like that. Go ahead and set those over. We're going to grab our piece of designer series paper. This is one of my favorite papers right now, and I'm always forgetting the name. Let me look at it real quick. I want to say it's like mas masterfully something. I have all the information and the links to supplies over on my blog, but I just want to make sure we know the name of this one. There it is. Masterfully made. So close. I picked this one because I thought it looked a lot like quilting a little bit. And so if I wanted to use a sewing machine, it looks like pieces of fabric or paper that's been ripped and then sewed back together. So I thought that one was really, really fun. So looking at our, our sample here, you can tell that I need to have it cut. If I want this side to be my front, front facing, I need to cut from my top left to my bottom right corner along the four inch side. So we're gonna go diagonally through, kind of like what we just did for those two card bases. Line it up on your track, start in the center, or not on the edge at least, and take those apart. So this one will be the front for this guy. Then we're gonna flip this one over and he will be on our right side, like that. So it's a great way to use it. If you want different patterns on different sides, you can mass produce and cut a lot of one style and cut another one and have it flipped for that one. So it's up to you how you do it. But I like that, that just used one piece of DSP. Okay, we should be done with our paper trimmer for now, and let's do some stamping. We need to grab our piece of basic white. I have basic white and my pretty peacock mat. This is what's going to be our note card that will be going inside here in just a minute. And we're going to use that saying, you inspire me, and I'm going to use my pretty peacock ink. Open that up. Let me grab a post-it note out because I haven't stamped with this one today. I always like to do a make sure we're good. That looks pretty good. Ink it up. You want to go top center so that we can see through. Let me put it here. I feel like I'm a little crooked, but oh, not too bad. That looks actually good. We'll keep it. All right. Now, don't be like me. When I first was making mine, I totally forgot a step. So don't forget this next step. Grab some ribbon. I have that burlap ribbon, and you'll need just about, let's see, this amount. <laughs> so about three inches. Let me grab my paper snips. I was hiding them, sorry, they're underneath the stamps up over there, so I couldn't find them. There we go, and just trim off some there. We also will need some tear tape. We're gonna flip this side over, Keep note that we want it to be on our right side, so now it's flipped over, so it's going to look like it's on our, sorry, we want it left, so we are putting it on our right side when it's flipped over. Just remember that. We're going to take a little bit of our tear tape, place it down. We want something strong, so you could use your Stampin' Still Plus if you wanted as well. Either one. Go ahead and fold that in half. 
and place it so that it's coming out just a little bit. I have it about three and a, two and a half grid squares. <laughs> uh, but that won't stay down. So you need to grab another piece of tear tape, fold it down. And if you want to have it off centered a little bit to look more like, we're going to change this one just a little bit. So it looks like a tag instead of just a piece of ribbon. You totally can. Going over that. You could leave the backing on if you want. I'm going to take it off just so that it has some extra stick room. I made a mistake with this one and I used liquid glue because I didn't want to mess up where I placed it and I wanted some wiggle room. But then looking at it now, I can totally see some of my glue lines, which I don't like. So using my Stampin' Still Plus, which is almost out. That's the last of this one. I'll have to get my refill that in a minute. I'm going to flip that over and we're going to carefully place it on here since once we put it down, it won't move much. So make sure you know where you're placing it the first time. There we go. That looks good. It looks good. Now we can grab our bases back in and our designer series paper. This one is liquid glue friendly. So you can totally use that. Flip it over. Make sure you're on the right side for which side you want it to be on. And go around your triangle creating a little bit of squish room so that way it doesn't make a huge mess with our liquid glue and then place it on here so there's borders on all sides see I'm going to move mine around a little bit to try to match it up just right that looks pretty good okay do the same thing for the other one flip it over and we're going to place that one on here Again, totally did it wrong the first time, so I'm moving it around, make sure we get it right. That looks a lot better. Okay, now we need to create a pocket for this bottom part here. This is the one that we want on the inside. That's the inside on our right side. So I'm gonna use some tear tape and go just along this whole bottom here with the tear tape. We want to make sure that our little note that we just created will not slide out the bottom. So we're going to close this shut. Remove the backing and push down. There we go. For this one now, what we're going to do is attach it to this guy. This one we could totally do some liquid glue. Squiggles. And then line it up to that score and try to make it as flush as possible. Make sure you do a practice fold. Make sure you didn't go over that score line. And look at the back. It looks really good. I lined it up nicely. Okay. Now we need to secure this guy down. We don't need him to be completely crazy, though. So we could just put a little bit of tear tape on the bottom. And this one. So I'm going to put just a little bit here. If I want to try to add a little bit of glue to that corner as well, just to, just to secure it down. In fact, we'll do that. We'll just do a little drop of adhesive right here. Use my tip to kind of smear it around and fold over. Okay. There we go. It's looking good. It kind of looks like an envelope, right? I think that's probably the name of this one. Something about a, an envelope fun fold. Then the hard part is picking what we want to put here. So I have a couple options. I have that Stamp and Cut Emboss Machine. Let me go ahead and slide this in so you can get the real look of it. And get, help me decide which one we should do. So I have that one. And then like I said, I thought this looked like fabric, so I thought a sewing machine would look really cute right here. And then the adorable paper trimmer. This one it has the words on it too, so I probably won't use that one and we'll save that for something else. But just look how how adorable that is. It totally looks like a paper trimmer. We even has that little um, paper part that our, our blade, there we go, to trim it. I used a bright color, totally not the colors of our paper trimmers, but super, super fun. It's not, <laughs> that is so, so cute. It's kind of big for this spot too, so I don't know if I would use it on this card, but I love the fact that it's an option and that I could. All right, should I, I think I'm going to go ahead and make this one different and do the sewing machine. What we do want to do is grab dimensionals 
and we're going to put them on the actual part and not the um, stamped and die cut image. I could have held it here to make sure I had enough room, but that looks pretty good. The tricky part is making sure that this is not covering up the You Inspire Me when we have it in there and that it's lined up just right. Ah, oh, I love it. Super cute. You Inspire Me. And then we'll just pull on our little ribbon here and that little note will come out. I love this because then you have a greeting here and then my secret message I'll write in there that they can just pull up to see. Love, love this one. Thank you, Phyllis, so much for sharing this with me so that I could share with you guys. Be sure to like and follow me on YouTube on Facebook. This is going to be my last Facebook Live for a long time. Um, I will still do some videos, but it's the live format because school starts next week and I will be at school working. Um, and then also I'll be in Vegas next week for Backstage, which is a demonstrator event. So... No more life unfolds for a while. I will stop, still come on live occasionally to let you know some awesome deals that are going on. But this is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my last Fun Fold Friday live. And then look for my future videos just either on my Facebook group or on YouTube. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.